Welcome to the new look and feel Sabre Online. Sabre Online is a secure corporate online booking engine designed to empower you to service your travellers via the web. Sabre Online automates critical aspects of travel service distribution for air, hotel and car hire while enforcing corporate travel policy options. As a corporate customer, when I log into Sabre Online, I see the option to go to make a booking, go to existing bookings, or to their traveller profiles. Under make a booking, you have the option to create a domestic or international booking, or to use a template for your regular trips. Today, we'll make a domestic booking. Let's start with my outbound flight. So I'm leaving from Sydney, going to Melbourne. I'll use the calendar functionality to set my date. I select my time and class. On the one screen, you have the option to add additional flights, cars and hotels if required, which is a unique feature to Sabre Online. Next, I'm going to add a hotel to my booking, and you'll notice it already pre-populates my dates and city from my flight details, saving me time. Next, I add my inbound flight details. Now I've designed my itinerary, I can save this trip as a template or simply search all. And within seconds, my flight and hotel options are returned. You can see my flight options have been returned with the best fare highlighted at the top to show me the cheapest option for the chosen time. To assist me with my choice, I can shop around by departure time, arrival time or even airfare cost. By clicking on the time, I can view all the flight times and associated costs. Alternatively, I can elect to have them all displayed on one screen by going to Display and Ungrouping by Carrier. Sabre Online clearly shows me which fares are within my company policy by highlighting them. The yellow fares represent fares that are out of policy. By hovering over the flight number, I can quickly see connecting flight details, operating carrier, aircraft type and even terminal information. Now, to check if this fare is refundable or changeable, I click on Show Fare Rules. And now that I'm happy with that, I select my desired flight. So, now I move on to select my hotel, which are displayed in an easy to read page with maps, hotel photos and company policy details, all displayed in one screen. You can see that it'll automatically show my company's preferred hotels in order of preference. To get more details about the room, including rules and conditions, as well as description, click on the Hotel button. You can drill into hundreds of hotel photos. Now I'm going to select my company's preferred hotel and select my desired room. Now I can easily select my return flight. Depending on your company policy, you may be prompted to complete additional fields for reporting purposes. You can see here, Sabre Online asked me why the cheapest fare wasn't selected. As I continue through my booking, I can clearly see my full itinerary with details of all segments. Now I'm presented with the option of selecting my desired seat using graphical seat maps. Okay, now that's done. As I scroll down, I see the total airfare with taxes and fees displayed. I can add in the relevant cost centre and select a hotel credit card to secure the booking. And I can add a special request remark to my travel consultant requesting additional travel arrangements if required. Here I can add an email address to send a copy of my itinerary instantly to my colleagues or family. Now I'll accept the rules and conditions and Sabre Online is even going to send my itinerary directly to Tripcase, so I can use that cool mobile application to view and manage my trip while on the go. Now I can book the itinerary straight away or place the booking on hold for a few hours. Sabre Online will tell me when I need to confirm. I'm going to book my itinerary today, so I click book. Straight away I get my confirmation and depending on the company policy, the booking may be sent directly to an authoriser to approve the travel. I have the option of printing the itinerary or the client statement, which includes cost breakdown. If I scroll down, I'm also given the option of cloning the itinerary for other passengers. If I want to view, request a change or cancel an existing booking, I can also manage that easily within Sabre Online, simply by going to the existing bookings tab. So you can see how easy it is for corporate travellers to use Sabre Online to manage their travel all within company policy.